So your personal message to Arna Sulberg would be? Got too much. You want some? No, I'm good. All right, you gotta find the trash can. You can't throw that away. What? Food turns into waste, gets turned into biogas. I'm saving the environment. What? It's not like you've researched this. Oh, you have? Oh, you you got to explain this to me. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Helen, you've written a paper, haven't you? Yes, I have. What did you do? I've been mapping the Norwegian agriculture system throughout the entire value chain and thereby been able to run scenarios for whether food waste prevention or food waste recycling is better. Mm. Wow. So how do you even begin to map an agricultural system? Well, first you have to decide what's important. Obviously, we're interested in the environment, so we chose two environmental problems that are kind of key today. Energy and phosphorus. Right. Why energy? Well, I mean energy because obviously there's energy contained within the food that mm -hmm. you're eating, like the burger. Okay. And also you need energy in order to produce that burger. Like the chainsaw? That... Yeah, for example. For yeah. example. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why phosphorus then? Uh, phosphorus is another issue. It's a scarce resource that we need for producing food. Okay. But also a pollutant. Oh, yeah. So, wow. I know. Well, can you show me where it is on the periodic table? Wait, right. which one? Here-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so you need to measure these environmental problems. Where do you measure them? Everywhere. The whole value chain of Norwegian agriculture? Exactly. Okay, how do you do that? Okay, so we use this method called substance flow analysis. All right. Yeah. Well, I, that's Greek to me. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Okay, so what substance flow analysis does is it tracks materials throughout a system as it obeys mass balance principles, meaning that what goes in has to come out or has to be accumulated in some sort of stock. All right. So if I give you an example, All maybe, right. yeah, okay. let me just make it really simple. Um, look at a substance flow analysis of a cow. Is that the cow from my burger? The cow that produced your burger, yes. Excellent. That, that looks like a bear! Oh, it's like a perfect <laughs> bear. So say in the example of this bear cow. Bear cow. Um, you have food that goes in. And you have um, waste that comes out. <laughs> waste. And in this food, you have energy and you also have phosphorus in this waste. You have energy and you have phosphorus. You have energy in the cow bear. So this guy contains energy himself. Like in, within the meat? Within the meat for, yes, very good. Learning quick. Okay, thank you. Um, and then you also need additional energy called process energy. And that would be your chainsaw, right? Mm. And then also other stuff like, right. like a bear house. Why do you need to heat the cow? Because we live in Norway. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> Well, that's essentially what a substance flow analysis is, is we track you know, phosphorus and energy throughout mm. this process here. This is the process of a cow. And then we basically apply that approach to the entire Norwegian agriculture system. Okay. Yeah. So this beautiful drawing of yours, was that the entire Norwegian agricultural system? No, 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 no. no. You have to zoom out. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Oh, zoom. okay. <laughs> you have to zoom out and you have to include other stuff upstream. For example, fertilizer production, plant production, animal husbandry, and then we go downstream to food processing, waste handling, and biogas treatment. All right, and you follow energy and phosphorus everywhere oh, in this. Man. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so now you've been uh, mapping the Norwegian agricultural system throughout the whole value chain. Um, how does that help us in concluding whether food waste prevention or recycling is the better way to go? Yeah, so what we do is in a computer program, we yeah. assign numbers 
two of those arrows that I spoke about earlier. Yeah. Um, and then we can play around with the numbers and create scenarios. Okay. So say for example, if we prevented all food waste. How do you prevent all food waste? Well, I mean, that doesn't really matter, right? Just imagine that we prevented all of the food waste in yeah. Norway. It's a computer, so yeah. we can do things like that. You just, just press zero? Zero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Delete. So in this scenario, we basically assumed that the food that's being eaten is actually the food that's being produced, right? Okay. Nothing more than that. And whenever you do that, you obviously have lowered amounts of waste produced. So yeah. downstream, you have to process less waste. Yeah. And upstream, there's also effects because you have to produce less food, so you have a lowered resource demand. Okay. So let's take food waste recycling scenario for comparison. This scenario, we assume that you take all of the food waste and you perfectly recycle it okay. into biogas. Into biogas. Yeah, and this means that, of course, upstream nothing changes, but downstream we just were more efficient at recycling this stuff into biogas. And that biogas is, of course, supposed to replace fossil fuels. Okay, that, that's a good thing, right? Well, I mean, it would be a good thing if it actually made a difference. <laughs> it doesn't make a difference? No, uh, what we found out actually is that if you perfectly recycled all food waste into biogas, it really would only represent 2% of Norway's energy demand in the transportation sector. Okay, and energy and phosphorus savings compared to the food prevention scenarios. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they it's, don't compare at all. They don't compare at all. Yeah, prevention is far better. Okay. These scenarios, they're in the magical world. I mean, it's not realistic to prevent all food waste or recycle it all. Why? How are they helpful, actually? Yeah, you have a point. Of course, these are not you know, realistic at all. But in doing these kind of studies, you can show what we should be steering towards. Kind of like a lighthouse for steering towards a certain goal. Yeah. Um, we showed that food waste prevention provides much more environmental benefits than food waste recycling. And there's also the risk, of course, with recycling that you, if you kind of build up facilities for producing biogas, you lock yourself into needing waste. And that's something we don't want to do, of course. Okay, so your conclusion is that to use Norwegian agriculture as a means of helping out in the energy crisis, it's a bad, bad idea? Yeah, bad idea. It okay. doesn't make sense. And it, of course, exacerbates other resources, such as phosphorus. Okay. So your personal message to Arna Solberg would be? Develop more preventative measures instead of policy. Bam. Slam dunk. Take the camera and do a slam dunk with the... With the camera? Yeah. How do you do that? I slam dunk in my face, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not in my groin, thank <laughs> you.